guys. Dave Anderson here, Heli Cools Helipad. Hey, I have got to wait to get the connectors so that I can uh, get that electrical attaching point to the truck. And what I've decided to do is go ahead and just wire in a seven blade uh, connector instead of that seven pin. And that way all of my civilian trailers, including this new trailer, will also fit on that on that connector. So until then, until they come in, I am going to start a little project here that I think is going to be worthwhile because I am actually gonna use this trailer as a training tool during the Great Western FMTB Roundup. So what I'm gonna do is get the angle grinder with the wire wheel because you can still see that there's a whole bunch of of uh, moss and um, I don't know what they drove this thing through, but it looks like tar bits of, I mean, maybe they just did a brand new chip seal or something like that on the road and, and just drove it through there like a bat out of heck and just sprayed this whole thing with chip seal before they went and painted <laughs> the tan on it. So yeah, there's all this, this asphalt underneath this tan paint. So I've got to, get all of that off of there. But the plan, what I want to do is have this available for folks to come out here and practice their skills on doing camouflage painting. So I'm going to take the black spray paint and spray out the different areas, the different shapes of how it's supposed to go. And then folks can come out here and try their hand. At a, I'll have a few cans of spray paint available. They'll try their hand at seeing about how to do the uh, camouflage painting. And I think that that'd be a cool little um, add-on bonus to the roundup. So, so I need to get it prepped prior to the guys coming out. Smells like burnt asphalt. <laughs> now you could really tell where the asphalt was. The splatter mark, it's all gone now. Yeah, and that's the kind of stuff I'm dealing with that's that's rocks and asphalt so I gotta chip that out with a chisel before and after. All 
All right, boys and girls, I hear a Chinook. Oh, wait, I see it. So I decided to put the rear uh, panel on there, even though I don't have the stake yet. But uh, I'm hoping that uh, the LMTV um, ferry might uh, bring me a couple of stakes. I'm hoping. <laughs> Please. All right, well, I'm going to clean these up and um, outline the paint on this side as well, as well as that other back panel and uh, get it ready for the Great Western FM TV Roundup. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on this uh, pretty cool adventure. Man, this trailer is just looking better and better by the day. <laughs> With that tiger stripe pattern, it actually looks pretty cool, but it's not going to stay that way. All right, well, I'm going to be signing out. I got tons of other things to get done today. Until next time, you guys be safe and God bless.